Fellas, Ninjago is very, very expensive. But does it really have to be? I own way too many Ninjago sets, and I'm not going to be going to college because of it. But can you buy an entire Ninjago collection without going broke? Well, today, I'm going to be trying to find out. I've got £100 in the bank and a mission to get the best Ninjago deals ever. The plan is to buy as many Ninjago sets as possible and eventually end up with something resembling a Ninjago collection. But I also want to see what kind of rare sets that I can get and just see how much money I can actually save by doing this. I'm a bit worried, so please like and subscribe if you want my dog Max to eat this month. In order to find some incredible deals, I resorted to eBay, the home of some of the most clueless people ever and a great place to capitalize on people's stupidity. The thing about eBay is that you get a lot of people who list items without really knowing what they're selling. So in order to catch some of these fools as quickly as possible, I sorted by newly listed and then I waited. Of course, there there were some absolutely incredible deals. For example, this nine set bundle from 2011 for only 80 pounds. If you wanted to buy each set individually used, it would cost you about 150 pounds. But fellows, I stayed strong and kept looking because that would have taken up most of my budget as well. It was then at this time that I came across a rather interesting listing. Set 9457, the Vampire Wrecking Ball. A set released for £50 in 2012 and available now used for about 70 which is very, very expensive. However, fellas, I'd found it for £5 with five minutes of bidding left and absolutely nobody else watching this item. I was beyond, like, mind blown by this. I think initially I'm just going to put in uh, £10, go. There'd only actually been one bid previous to this, so fingers crossed that but nobody else is gonna, you know. Three minutes, three minutes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I really want to get this set. It looks in great condition, has all the minifigures. All right, we've got just under two minutes left and I'm currently the highest bidder at £5.50, I think. So this is, <laughs> I'm so nervous, what? Oh my God, just look at how awesome this set is though. I mean, seriously, I, I can't possibly miss out on this bad boy, really. All right, one minute left. This is so close. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it up to £7 because, uh, oh God. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Have we won it? Come on, two seconds, please. Two seconds. Come on, please. Um. Let's go. Oh, fellas, we did it. Oh my god, I'm insane. I'm actually kind of cracked at I'm cracked at eBay. What? So, five pounds down and one of the best deals that I've ever gotten on a Lego set in the bag. It was time to continue the search. And eventually, I came across this absolute beast. The Lego Ninjago Bundle. This came with four sets. The DBX from 2015, the Warrior Bike from 2013, the Blaster Bike from 2015, and Desert Lightning from 2017. To buy all of these sets used, it should should cost about £103. And the majority of that price comes from the DBX, which costs about £63. The minifigures alone for this set sell for about £51, which is just ridiculous. So I turned on the charm and put in an offer of £35, which may have been a bit low. Hello, fellas. I'm at the park and I just got an email from eBay saying I've got a counter offer for the bundle for £50. So I've accepted it. Um, there's so many people around. I feel... Please subscribe. This may sound like a lot, but it means that we've saved over £51 on buying these sets from eBay. Having sorted by ending soonest, I was able to get a ridiculous deal on the Vampire Wrecking Ball, so I tried it again. And I came across the Lighthouse Siege, which had been on eBay for only 30 minutes and had a starting bid of £15. To get this set used now, it should cost about £70, but I thought that I'd lowball it and go for £45. I really wasn't expecting to get this. <laughs> Alright fellas, so um, the person selling the lighthouse accepted my £45 offer and um, I cannot believe that that worked. Um, that's pretty insane really. So with pretty much exactly £100 spent, it was time to pray to God that I didn't get scammed. I'm quite worried about that, so please, please like and subscribe. Fellas, they've arrived. And to be honest with you, the boxes are very, very small considering the sets that I bought, so I'm a bit scared that I've just been scammed. All right, I want to start with this tiny box here first and just see whether or not I lost my money. 
All right, here we go. We're in the box now. And this one is the Fangpire Wrecking Ball. As you can see there, the instructions are pretty nicely intact, honestly. Like, these are in really, really good condition. I'm very impressed by that, to be fair. So that's a, that's a positive start. Um, now, we have just a big a big bag filled with the parts. Don't know if everything's going to be in here, but I, I assume they will be. I don't know if you can see it, but that white fang there has like a little nick on the side of it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's mad from the Lego Club. My childhood has arrived. Right, let's have a look at the next box. Let's go for this slightly smaller one that's in sort of like a bag. Here we go. Let's get this bad boy open. Oh, oh my god. This is so cool. Here's like a minifigure bag. Oh my god, this is so cool. If everything's in here, this has probably been one of the best finds I've ever gotten. Another bag here with some bigger plates and that kind of thing, which is very nice. And I think that's it as far as like the actual parts of the set go, because now it's just instructions left. That doesn't seem like enough pieces. Alright, here we go. Here are the instructions, which are, like, absolutely perfect. What the hell? You could not get them in any better condition. Yeah, everything looks okay, but only time will tell, I suppose. And, um, yeah. Alright, so now we're onto the final box. Of course, we did only really buy this for, you know, one set that had one minifigure in it, but that's besides the point. Alright, here we go. This is where we find out whether or not I am going to be in poverty for the rest of my life, or whether or not I am going to be a multi-millionaire. This is scary. Here we are. It's looking good so far. All right, we've got some instructions here. Literal perfect condition. Now there's a ton of bags. I don't really know what this set was. Um, we have a season five set here. And last but not least, we have, I think this set is the warrior bike. Uh, makes sense. Again, very nostalgic instructions, which is awesome. And now it's time to clean it and make sure that I don't get a disease because... It's, it's eBay. I mean, look at that stuff. That looks like I'm gonna get a disease. All right, I wanna get myself like a, a box or a bowl of some sort to put all the Lego in. Now, would it be really weird if I put all the Lego in this? Yes, it would. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, so what you're gonna wanna do is put your Lego set that you just got, put it in your pot, and then beautiful. Alright, I've got this in the sink now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn the tap on. Do I need to put like soap in it or something? Let's just put some of this in there for good measure. This is this is hand soap, but and there we go. That's how you clean your Lego, guys. This is so heavy, oh my god. But then I got to building. The building process was interesting with these sets because I've made a point to try and buy them in good condition, 100 percent complete. But whether some people don't have eyes or don't know what 100% complete means, there was quite a few pieces missing. This set here, for example, is just missing, like, this entire front bit here, as well as the Desert Lightning, which just has no back, and to be honest, the DBX. Those stickers, man. What are those stickers? Please, somebody explain. So, after about three days of building and binge-watching Ninjago, I'd finished. So, here's everything fully built, and to be completely honest with you, I really can't believe that I got everything here for £100. The condition on most of these sets is superb and the fact that I managed to get the Fangpire Wrecking Ball for £5 is just mind-blowing to me. Keep in mind that if I bought all of these sets individually used it should have cost me about £250. The DBX is massive in person and definitely a set that I'm pretty pleased to own now. As well the Lighthouse Siege is a beautiful set but also had a light brick on top. As for the minifigures well I think they speak for themselves. Each and every one looked like it had come straight out of the set and there was absolutely zero scratching or biting marks on any of them. And it just goes to show that you don't need to go out paying hundreds of pounds for some incredibly rare Ninjago sets. You can just buy them off of vulnerable old people on eBay. I'd call that a win.